Okay, so what is specific charge? Specific charge is the charge per unit mass. Charge is going to be measured in coulombs, mass in kilograms, and so specific charge is going to be in coulombs per kilogram. The word specific just basically means per unit mass, and you come across it again in the future, for exa example, in specific heat capacity. Okay, so normally when we say atoms, we're talking about neutral atoms, so the number of protons and number of electrons is equal, so overall charge is zero. Uh, and ions, when we say ions, it's either lost or gained electrons, so that means it's going to have positive or negative charge. So in this case, it's lost in electrons, so overall charge here is going to be positive. Okay, so in this case, it's lost one electron, so the overall charge of this whole ion is going to be plus 1.60 times to the power of minus 19 coulombs. When we say nucleus, we're ignoring any electrons around it, okay, it's just the nucleus. So if, for example, in this nucleus we had, uh, say, plus four uh, protons, then it would have an overall charge of four times 1.6 to uh, 10 times into the power of minus 19 coulombs. Okay, a magnesium ion is formed when a neutral magnesium atom loses two electrons. Calculate the specific charge of the magnesium ion. Assume the mass of the electron is negligible. And we'll be given the charge of the electron and the mass of the nucleons there. So firstly, we're going to write the equation for specific charge which is ma charge over mass, the charge in this case is going to, if, if this, we take this atom and it loses two electrons, it's going to have an overall charge of plus two. Okay, so it's going to be two plus two times 1.6 times into the power of minus 19. Okay, the mass, well, we're ignoring the mass electrons because they're very small. So we just need to worry about the protons and neutrons, so we need to use 24 because each proton, the neutron, has a charge, a mass of 1.67 times into the power of minus 27. So that gives us a specific charge of plus 7.98 times 10 to the power of 6 coulombs per kilogram. Okay, now we just want to calculate the specific charge of the nucleus. So we're ignoring any electrons on the outside, okay? So in this case, again, let's write the equation out. So the specific charge, so what's going to cause the charge in this case? It's just the protons inside the nucleus. There's 12 protons, and each one has a charge of plus 1.6 times to the power of minus 19 coulombs. The mass, again, this is going to be due to the protons and the neutrons, so it's 24 times 1.67 times to the power of minus 27. So that gives a specific charge of plus 4.79 times into the power of 7 coulombs per kilogram.